Our guest speaker for, uh, for today is uh, Mr. Larry Smith. And um, you're for a treat because we got a little program uh, planned for you. And I'm just going to read real quick. Uh, Larry obtained his degree at Delphi University in performing arts. And he blazed his own path here at Delphi. And um, he originally came here, and I was actually an athlete. He participated on the men's uh, baseball team and actually the swim team. But his uh, first love of performing arts was very difficult, as you can imagine, to be on both the sports team and in the performing arts department. So he wasn't able to do both. So he stayed with performing arts, and he also uh, is a founding member of Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated chapter here at Delphi, the oldest Greek organization, black Greek organization in the country. Um, he found success in corporate America, but his first love continues to be the stage. So like I said, you're in for a little program he has set up for you. Um, so I'm going to be seeing it for the first time, too. So we'll see how, how it goes. Let me introduce Mr. Larry Smith for you right now. Thank you. <laughs> and you didn't make it on Broadway. <laughs> Any audience you get, you take that moment. Okay? Oh, that wasn't your head? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, bring it to the back. Bring it to the back. That was smooth, though, Larry. I mean, this is your time. <laughs> you know, when I thought of doing this, I said either it's going to be successful or I'm not going to be allowed on campus. <laughs> ever again. Ever again. So, welcome, and thank you for having me here. Excuse me while I undress, <laughs> but I said, you know, if I stay in costume, you won't take me serious <laughs> as I read through my, uh, my script and talk to you today. And I would just like to say that I am very honored to be here today. And when Suzette gave me the calling months ago, I, I, I just said that, this is a moment that I've waited for for many years to be able to come back and share some ideas and thoughts with alumni, students, faculty, and the like. And I just never thought it would happen. So I'd like to thank Suzette right. for inviting me back. And I didn't make her life easy. <laughs> I, uh, in the past week, I probably called her 15 million times. I came and looked at the room. And uh, for those of you who can't hear me, can you hear me now? Yeah. Okay. Well, what I was saying was that I just wanted to thank Suzette for inviting me back here on this uh, very special occasion. And it's a dream that I had of coming back here one day and sharing a few words with my alumni, brothers and sisters, faculty, uh, Dr. Scott, President, and other noticeable guests. And uh, today, I'm going to talk briefly, but I'm going to mention a few things that are dear to my heart as a founder of the Alpha Phi Alpha chapter here at the university. I'm also going to talk about what it was like back in the 70s for me. And as I talk, I'm not talking about just myself. I'm talking about all the students who were here back in the 70s because just as you are here in an era, we were back in an era back then. Back then, the world was, interestingly enough, in war. There was civil unrest. Campuses, you never knew what would happen as they are today. Last night, as I was on the internet, I saw something about the university in Alabama, yeah. and I just shook my head. You know, we thought we had it rough back in those days, but one thing that we didn't worry about was somebody running through the hallways or on the grounds and shooting us up. So the world is changing, and I really don't have to tell any of you that because we are living it together. So also, I like to give a message to the students here. I, I can't believe that 30-some 
years <laughs> <laughs> has gone by. And I graduated in the class of 1974. And I'm very proud to say that I did because as time goes on, you learn wisdom and you love what life gives you. So I'm gonna give the students a brief message today that hopefully will help them to focus and go on their career as well. So I wrote an article about a year ago that pertained to the historic event that took place on this campus. And the historic event happened in a very quiet setting. There was no riots which were prevalent back in the 70s. And this historic event, when it took place, we weren't trying to make history. We were just trying to do what we thought was right and trying to get something that was positive on this campus. And that was forming a chapter of Alpha Phi Alpha Incorporated, which is the first black Afro-American fraternity in the United States. December 4, 1906. So I'm going to read just a little bit of the article, and hopefully the article will be published in the future. And the picture that you're looking at there is a picture of some of the Alphas back in the day. That picture was taken uh, in one of the courtyards, and you can see Mr. Caesar, Brother Caesar Raynard in the middle. <laughs> he was always quite uh, subtle where he wanted to sit when he took pictures. I'm to the left, and I believe that's, uh, yes, Brother Knox to his right. <laughs> then we have Brother Bob Hodson on the upper left-hand side. Uh, Brother David Williams, who is my line brother and who is now an Omega chapter. He has left us only in body, not in spirit. Um, Brother Kenneth R. Banks, who I, is a trustee of the university. Brother Bob Hodson, another line brother of mine. Brother Wilbur Henderson, nicknamed Doc. <laughs> then we have on the lower left, Brother Tony Godwin, and then on the right, Brother Mel Gibson. So those are not the founding members. Um, is there another clip that we have that shows a picture of the founding members? Ah, there we are. Now, that picture was taken right before we incorporated the chapter, and there are two men in the picture who are not alphas, but they work very closely with us to help us get off the ground. And on the far right, you see uh, Brother Henderson, then Mike Davis and Marvin Jackson. Those were two men that were very instrumental in helping us to get off the ground. The rest of those men there are the found, some of the founding members of the chapter. The one next to Brother Banks is Clarence Thomas, who I heard recently has also joined the Omega chapter. So there we are. Um, I'm going to again read a little bit, and there are two other members that I will mention in my reading that were part of that original group. It takes seven people to become a chapter on this university, and we had the seven. And we were all invited to pledge by Brother Caesar A. Raynor, who was already on the campus, and he was a good, uh, how should I say, person to go out and gather talent. They made us go into the city and get beat and go through all sorts of uh, trials and tribulations. But I wouldn't share one moment of what I went through to become an alpha man. 